welcome back. It's a good day. It's going to be a good day at least. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's going to be a really good day. I'm so used to wearing my hair straight now all the time. It's like weird to see it not straight. All right. Let's see here. All right. We're going to wait for some people to hop on. And hopefully, well, I'm going to try to get this to share, but it's not wanting to cooperate with me. So make sure you say, hey, when you hop on, let me know you're here. Make sure you hit that share button, all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff. And no, I'm not drinking wine at lunchtime. It could be. It is my birthday. It is my birthday. Hey, Donna. All right, let me get this shared. It's actually cran apple juice. <laughs> Just living it up over here. Hey, Holly, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay. Come on, computer. Okay. I've got tons of messages coming in. Tons of messages um, between family and Facebook and then color matching and all the sorts of stuff. Thanks, guys. Hey, Taylor. Hi, friends. Thank y'all. Hey, Kathy. Um, okay, let me check this one message really quick. Mm. Let's see. All right, what's the weather like today, y'all? I haven't even been outside. My mom was like, you need to go outside and do stuff. And I was like, well, it's my birthday, so I'm probably gonna go outside and do something, probably. Um, thanks, y'all. All right, make sure y'all share when y'all hop on. I literally just wanna check the weather really quick because someone just asked me a question and I can't answer it unless I know what is going on. All right, while we do this, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some Behold Setting Spray um, to get everything prepped. I'm so excited, y'all. My lashes look so bad. So we're going to actually probably use falsies today. Um, and then I'm getting them done tomorrow because I can't, y'all. I cannot. 74 right now. Hallelujah praise. That's fantastic. I love good weather. Hey, Samantha. Thanks, y'all. Hey, Kate. Um, so, oh my God, yeah, it's beautiful outside. The high is 80. Lord have mercy. All right, let me respond back to this message really quick and then we will get started. I've got to wait on my stuff on my face to set. Anyways, um, we are going to go in with the mattifying primer, you guys. The hydrating primer is sold out. I did see that this morning. Um, the hydrating primer is sold out. So I'm just saying, this one is going to be the next to go. Like this is, thank you guys. Hey, Heather. Thanks. Hey, Deidre. Um, this is going to be the next one. I'm telling you, this primer is so good. Like, my makeup doesn't budge at all. At all, at all. So, we're going to get all of that rubbed in. Tomorrow, I get my lashes done and I get a spray tan. Best day ever. It pays to have friends who are as high maintenance as you are. Um, thanks, Kate. I love you, too. I can't wait till we have lunch dates back. Okay, let me see here. Um, all right. <gasps> Thanks, Erin. Hey, Amanda. Okay. I'm waiting on my face to set. I think I'm going to start doing my face stuff. Um, what was I going to say? Prior to getting on, um, Facebook. That way, y'all don't have to like sit here and watch it dry. It's like watching paint dry. You know what I mean? I might crank out a wing liner today. I am gonna do lashes. I might crank out a wing liner today. Um, I might probably. I'm I'm feeling it. All right. So we're gonna set that. I'm gonna respond back to this, and then we're gonna start. Um, I just got setting spray all over my laptop. Um, 
Um, <laughs> All right, hey Nancy, hi guys, hey Negrita, hey Kara. All right, yes, so we are gonna do, um, I don't know what eyeshadow look I'm gonna do yet, something with the pressed shadows, and then um, we're gonna do lashes because mine, y'all, they look, they, they, they're sad. <laughs> I've never let mine get this bad, but y'all, between the allergies and my eyes itching and stuff, it's just, it's been a disaster. So, <gasps> thanks guys, y'all are so sweet coming in with all the birthday stuff. Um, let me see. All right, I just needed to send that, and we're good to go. Okay, hey Paxton, hey Shay. Oh yeah, well, what's funny is, um, thanks y'all. What's funny is Michaela, I'll be with her tonight, and um, she texted me and was like, let's make TikToks tonight. And neither one of us have ever TikToked a day in our life, but I made a TikTok the other day, y'all, and we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. All right. We're going in with Liquid Touch in the Shade Satin. Y'all know this is like my jam. Um, I'm going to literally running on E over here. And I keep saying that, but, you know, I'm waiting on orders to come in. I've got stuff for um, more of the care packages that I did for frontline workers. I'm waiting on that stuff to come in. So, I'm kind of waiting on a lot right now. The post office is probably like, this girl needs to stop online shopping. It's not really what I'm doing. I'm working. But when I order it all and it comes to my house, they probably think I'm nuts. Hey, Grace. Thanks. Um, All right. I'm going a little overboard. But, you know, here we are. Living our best lives. In quarantine. Which I'm not going to be very quarantined today. I went to see my family yesterday. Um, and I'll probably see them again later this week. And then I had to wear a real bra with this tank top, y'all, because one, I couldn't find the one that usually I wear with this. And two, I have to wear a real bra, y'all. I can I can wear the sticky ones, but not with this shirt. This one is a little too, uh, you can make mistakes if you move the wrong way in this shirt. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be on Facebook Live, I'll wear a real bra and just make it work. Make it work. All right. Oh, yeah. It's going to be entertaining. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Um... It usually is, even like our normal, yeah, I mean, y'all saw our mouse catching video, or our mouse hunting video. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I'm just excited to see my friends. It's not like I don't ever see her, but when you're at home by yourself all the time, she's still working. So, hey, Macy, hey, Kaylee, hey, Tio, she's still working. So, um, actually, all my friends are still working. So, I, um, I get excited when I get to see them. Okay. So that is satin. Satin is a pretty like perfect match for me right now. When I get sprayed tomorrow, I'm probably gonna have to bump down to cashmere again. Um, but we'll, or I might have to blend them. I'll probably end up blending them. So we'll make it work. Thanks guys, y'all are so sweet. Make sure y'all hit that share button when y'all hop on. Um, I'm also gonna do a giveaway for anyone who orders a kudos today um, for my birthday. So um, what it is, is anybody who orders a kudos, you're gonna actually get an additional product shipped to you Fall for it. I probably shouldn't have said that. I don't think I'm allowed to. I don't think it's compliant, but here we are. Here we are. I take it back. So you're going to get a goodie from me. Okay. We'll say that. Um, so if you grab your kudos today, I will um, get an email saying that you grabbed it and then um, you'll get something from me. So if you need to be color matched, definitely shoot me a message. I'm going to go with the stick foundation in the shade of Velour and pop this on my face and blend that out. Remember you do get a face brush, whichever one you want with the kudos. So this is the Kabuki brush. This is my favorite brush. Um, favorite, favorite, favorite brush. And I just think it blends everything else so nicely. And I like to use this to press into my skin. A lot of people I'll see like use it to swirl. It's just not my personal preference. I prefer to press this in. Um, I'm not a big swirling fan. I, to me, it doesn't, the makeup doesn't set like it should. So I always press. That's also why I prefer to use a sponge to do my foundation. 
um, because I can press it in versus swirling it around. So I am going to blend all of this out. Hey Meg. And I might crank out a winged liner today, people. It's been a hot minute since I've done a winged liner. A hot freaking minute. All right. And I have that stupid Savage song stuck in my head, y'all. That TikTok Savage thing. And I, y'all, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's like all I hear all the time. This is not probably the best thing I could have worn, but here we are. All right. So we pressed all that in. My foundation routine is pretty much the same all the time because I am oily. So y'all know I don't um, really veer far from, here it is, from what I normally do. Um, hey, Allison. Hey, Madeline. Hey, Lindsay. Thank you. <gasps> He's 27. Oh, cool. I'm 28. 28. That's so neat. I love finding birthday twins. I need to get on Facebook and find mine. Um, you know, because Facebook tells you whose birthdays are today or whatever. And I always go through and tell everybody happy birthday, but I haven't done it yet today to see who all I'm friends with that has my birthday. There was a guy I went to college with. He was from Spain, I think. Um, we were birthday twins. Thanks, guys. Hey, Julie. You are the sweetest people. You can always count on Facebook to make your day better or worse. I guess I guess Facebook could make your day worse. I usually don't have that problem, but <laughs> all right. So we'll set my eyes. I did use a brush on them just a minute ago because you know at this point my lash extensions are SOL. So it's what allergies and quarantine will do to you, people. It's what it will do to you. Um, okay, so now I'm going to grab the pressed powder foundation in the shade Satin. God bless its poor little soul, y'all. We are running on crumbs. Like crumbs, people. All right. I'm trying not to make a mess, but y'all, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard right now with what we're working with. Thank you. All right, so remember, if you guys grab a... Um, a kudos today, y'all get something free from me, um, full size. So let me know if you guys need to be color matched um, and we'll get you hooked up. We'll get you hooked up. And I might run this giveaway all week actually. Might, what, might be what I do. You know, it's birthday week. I don't just celebrate for a day. All right. I feel like I haven't curled my hair in a long time. I'm so used to seeing it straight, and it's definitely not straight today. Or it wasn't straight yesterday either. All right, we're going in with Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Malibu. Malibu is sold out. Hey, Karen, thank you. Malibu is sold out, but Sunset and Hermosa are still available, and they are um, last call. So if you guys want these bronzers, go grab them. Um, something better will come, I'm sure of it. I just don't know what that is yet. Okay. Where is this? We're going to use the Morphe E4 and go in, and we're just going to blend both of the sides together and bronze. And pop it on the forehead. Y'all, this fragrance flower that I got from Scentsy, I'm telling y'all, it is my new best friend. It is my new best friend. Hey, Whitney. I love it so much. This little baby right here, y'all, my office smells so freaking good. It smells so good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take that same bronzer. Maybe if I can find my brush. There it is. And that ambulance just makes circles, I swear. Um, And we're going to grab this shade right here and swirl that in there. And pop a contour on really quick. Thanks, guys. Follow us in comments. Um, chenille. Same one I use. We'll just have to buff it out. Just like I do. And you'll be totally fine. Chenille, chenille. Chenille is like a good contour, honestly, for like any skin tone. Um, it's it's a good, it's a good color for sure. All right, I'm gonna buff. What is that bust? There, y'all. I don't know what's. I don't know what's happening outside today. All right, I'm gonna buff this out ever so lightly, y'all. My poor lashes. God bless their souls. 
I ordered more shampoo. I ordered a dress that's super cute. Hopefully it'll fit. Um, ordered it from Amazon. So, you know, we're really taking our chances. But Sandra, I am, after I get off here, I'm cutting work off for the rest of the day. Um, if, if people message me, I'll message them back. But I'm not going to like sit down and work for the rest of the day. Um, it's going to kind of be like a me day. I've been cleaning all day, actually, is what I have been doing. Um, but we're going to go in with Seductive because that's what I grabbed. No, I won't suckle, dadgummit. It's my birthday. Um, and, yeah, I'm going over to my friend Michaela. Um, I'm with her all the time. And so I'm going to go over there um, tonight and see her and baby. But other than that, you know, you can't really do much on your birthday when you're quarantined. So... I'll quarantine with the people I've been quarantining with and we'll make it work. Hey, Amber. So it's really just been me, Michaela, and baby. Uh, that's what I call her kid. Um, pretty much all of quarantine anyways. So, all right. So we just blended that out. All right. Let's do some fun eyeshadow. Um, I say fun, but y'all know I'm such a neutrals girl. Um, that's like fun to me. So um, let me see. See, not those colors, definitely not those colors. I've got all of the pressed shadows. I never know what to use. It's one downfall about having like everything is it makes decision making extremely difficult. Oh, thanks, it's a silicone wine glass, but I have cran apple juice in it. It's a great little cup. Girl. You can do your makeup so fast. It takes you forever. I have it down to like a science. Like there's, there's no doubt. It is. People are like, how long does it take you to get ready? I'm like, I can get like full glam ready in like 25 minutes. I don't even want to say 30. It's between 20 and 30 somewhere. Like full glam lashes and everything. Um, I can, I can crank out some makeup. There is no doubt about that. No doubt. Um, all right. Where are the rest of my eyeshadows? We got a lot of them, people. All right, let's just let's just start. Let's just go in with a blending brush. Um, I'm gonna grab a towel so I can spot clean. I'm gonna go in with the shade Transcendent, which is that peachy yellow, and we're just gonna pop that on just to give us a good base to blend everything. If you use translucent setting powder, you'll be fine, but I always like to take the extra, extra little step. Cool. All right, now what I'm going to do is grab this shade. Let's grab, oh, decisions, decisions. Um, let's grab this one. This is Astute. This is, oh my God, this is like an OG, OG. Astute was one of the very first eyeshadows that came out, and you cannot go wrong with this eyeshadow. You can't. And look, it just, it puts a little bit of dimension. See the difference? A little bit of dimension in there for you. Doesn't get too crazy. It's a really good base eyeshadow to have. You could pop it on by itself. You can use it like I'm using it as a transition shade. You know, the kid upstairs. God knows. I swear. I swear. Hey, Ashley. All right. Super easy. All right. Now what I'm going to do is grab. Mm. Mm. Let's grab this one. This is the shade. I hate, I hate having options, y'all. It terrifies me. Melodious. This is a newer one that launched, um, I believe, at convention last year. And it's a really pretty pink with a slight peach undertone. And I'm just going to pop this on top of a stoot. It's going to kind of warm it up just a little bit. Okay. And I just pick up a little bit at a time and go in. All right, now I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna grab a fluffy crease brush. Where are my, I mean, I don't have, that's a brand new one. I don't wanna use that clean one, but I thought I had a cleaner one than this. That's okay, we'll make it work. All right, now I'm gonna grab this shade Witty. Witty is like, if y'all don't know me, I love a good orange eyeshadow. I love orange eyeshadows so much. Any shade of orange, I'm here for. So we're going to grab Witty. This is more of like a, a pumpkin orange, if you will. Um, Lively is a brighter orange. It's more of like a Clemson orange. Um, so if that gives you kind of a comparison. But I love 
orange eyeshadows. They can be super intimidating. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but once you use them, once you're going to forever use them because they make your eyes pop, you guys. Whether you have blue eyes, brown eyes, hazel, purple, yellow, green, I don't care. They make your eyes pop. So I highly recommend grabbing an orange eyeshadow and trying it out if you've never tried one before. They're my favorites. All the weird colors. If they look like baby puke, then I'm usually a fan. Um, there's one in palette four that looks like baby puke and I think it's perfection. All right. Sorry, that was my mom. She's gonna have to call me back. She was talking about bringing me lunch, but if she if she texts me, I'll get it on my watch. Um. All right, so we're gonna pop that on. Super pretty, super bright. I love it so much. It's so pretty. I love it. All right, now what I'm gonna do, oh, you know what, let's go, hang on. Let me grab, I'm gonna spot clean this brush and pick up Gingerly. Gingerly is gonna be a little bit more of a mustardy, yellowy orange color. It's a must have, must have. I'm gonna pop this right there just to kinda give us a little bit of dimension-ish in the outer corner. And then blend whatever is left to that inner corner. Oh, there's my dad texting me, happy birthday. All right. Super, super pretty. I love it so much. All right, now we're going to deepen everything up. I'm going to grab the crease brush. I'm going to spot clean it because there is purple on it. And we're going to grab my all-time favorite eyeshadow from Unique, and that's Fervent. Fervent is like this red wine perfection, okay? It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And we're going to pop this on the outer corner or all over my finger like I just did. And pop it right here. I haven't done a super dramatic eyeshadow look in a hot minute. And I think I'm going to leave this all matte today too, which is even to me more dramatic than popping a shimmer on. Okay. So I just kind of pop this where I want it. And then, hey mama. Um, and then I blend it out with whatever I had on first. So um, I'm just gonna take the fluffy crease brush with whatever product is left on it and buff out that corner, okay? I need a mirror. I'm blind as a bat. I try to use the camera, but Sometimes I just need a mirror. All right. So to deepen it up just a little bit, I'm gonna take a, where did Fervent go? Lord knows. All over the place, people. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that. And then I'm gonna deepen it up even more and grab a legendary. Legendary, I'm not even gonna try to get out because I will dig my fingernail into it, is this black right here. It's the darkest black on the planet. Like, it's dark. But I'm only gonna use a little bit, almost to create more of like a grayish situation. Okay, spot clean that brush. Pick up a little bit more fervent and pop it right on top of that black kind of creating like a dark purple. And then we're gonna take this brush again. Hey, Nikki, hey, Addie. And just buff that out. I will say it's a little easier to do this without having to worry about your lash extensions. <laughs> just a little bit, but I ain't giving those suckers up because I love my lash extensions, y'all. I love them so much. And I'll get new ones tomorrow, praise Jesus. So today we're gonna wear falsies because I am super, I look like I've been plucked by a chicken. Or plucked like a chicken rather, not by a chicken. All right, I'm gonna grab the deluxe brush, which is just like a little shader brush. This one right here. Hey Catherine, thank you. And I'm gonna grab this shade um, Gingerly, which was that like yellowy mustardy 
color and I'm gonna pop it on my lid. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna grab the fluffy crease brush again and just go and blend everything out. So it's just super smoky, super blown out, nothing too precise. Um, I'm gonna mix Legendary and Fervent, those really two dark shades, the black and then that dark purple. And we're gonna use that just to line our lower lashes. And this is a MAC uh, 212 brush. Um, it's just what I grabbed. You don't know I've been using the liner shader brush for this, but it's just what I grabbed. And I actually got a little too low on my left eye, so let me kind of match it on my right. And then we're gonna grab this little blending brush. <gasps> Yay, April babies, we're the best. I'm gonna grab Witty, which is that orange and buff that out on the bottom. I brought that down wholly low, but it's fine, we'll blend it out. Super low, mm -hmm. we're gonna blend it out there, don't worry. Even though I stabbed myself in the eye. All right, now I'm gonna grab a little bit of Gingerly and just pop that on. These are so pigmented, you guys. Like, a little goes such a long way. Where is that? There it is. It's like, this brush was upside down. All right, this is just a clean brush that I use to buff out my lower lashes or my lower um, shadow. Super smoky and blown out. I'm here for it. Hey, Wendy. <gasps> Thanks, Kathy. I love these eyeshadows. Okay, now what we're gonna do is eyeliner. And I have not worn eyeliner like this in a hot freaking minute, but we're gonna do it. So let me put these eyeshadows up and grab dip and draw. Oh God, there's two here. Which one's bad and which one's good? Why well, don't throw away the old ones? I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Let's try this one. Hey, Amy. Thank you. Thanks, Wendy. Hey, Haley. All right. If this is bad, I might have to use a different one. No, this one looks good. All right. Here we go, people. Here we go. All right, I have little hairs that just get all over the place. Now I will say, if this liner gets on your lash extensions, it's super like, it's water-based, it's gonna come right off, so you don't have to worry about um, like it screwing up with your lash extensions. It's really hard to see past your extensions, though, in order to do this. So people who do this all the time with extensions, I'm impressed with you. I don't know how you do it. But I don't. All right, there is one wing. It's super thin. I kind of wanted a little thicker, but um, I see that little piece right there and I'm not a fan of the way it looks. This is where I get super OCD people and this is where things become thicker and thicker. But it's fine. 
We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. All right. Let's do this set. Hey, Morgan, now I'm like sweating. I'm like, oh God, one wing down. We did it. All right. Look at those straps, y'all. I can't, can't. We got a line across the top. Now we're gonna go in and wing this one out and pray that we don't ruin it. <laughs> it's been so long and it's definitely harder with extensions for sure. I usually do it slightly with my eye open, but y'all, you can't. Because it is just too freaking difficult. It's too difficult. All right, I'm gonna have to fix this one once it dries, but let it dry. And then I will mess with it. This is the same brush that I use to do, to clean up my lips. <laughs> um, it's just a great brush to clean up any, any mess, honestly. Um, it's a little Ulta concealer brush. Y'all, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I'm not doing it again, not with extensions. Not happening. Y'all, <laughs> I swear. If I ever decide not to have lash extensions, I will definitely go back to doing wing liner all the time, but no, not with lash extensions. Plus, this is why it used to take me so long to get ready because without my lash extensions, I did like full glam all the time all the time all right we just gonna have to let that let that be it for that all right pencil liner in the shade perfect we're gonna go on our lowers all right let me see I can even handle the way this looks. I don't know that I can handle this, y'all. I grabbed a different liner to kind of clean up a little bit. And let me make sure this brush is pretty clean. Okay. Um, let's go in and do brows really quick. And we've got the brow pencil in the shade Blonde. So we're going to Feather upward. And honestly, y'all, I'd say I miss doing all this, but I really don't. <laughs> the wing liner and all that, honestly, I think because I can get ready so much faster now. Because I'm way too OCD about my winged liner. Like, I don't love it right now, but we're gonna stick with it because I'm not gonna sit here and drive myself nuts about it. Okay, let's go upward here. I 
I'm just gonna feather in that front right there. So easy. All right, I've gotta feather out this underneath part right here because I can't stand that. Okay, easy, easy. All right, so we're almost done. Oh gosh, now we have to do lashes, Lord have mercy. This is why I don't do this anymore. It literally takes me forever, y'all. It takes me forever. And I'm so used to like cranking stuff out so fast now. It's insane. All right, we're gonna dust away any excess powder, any fallout, all that good stuff. And we're gonna highlight with Lustrous and Pearly ROGs. We've always used, actually, Benevolence, more of an OG than these two. Pop that on right there, right there, and dust all that. Get super luminous here. All right, now we're gonna grab the liner shader brush and highlight my brow bone. You just can't crank looks out like this fast. Once you add in wing liner. Hey, Kristen, hey, Logan. All right, let's go ahead and set everything. Never moving, never moving. And then I'm gonna set it with the luminous spray. We're gonna do mascara, we're gonna do lips. I guess we're gonna do lashes because my poor lashes right now are sad. They're very sad. So let me actually pull out some lashes. And what are these, AO5s? These will work. A10s though. I tend are gonna be the most similar, but they're so long. Actually, no, these are A12s. Let's go in with 12s. They're not as thick, they're a little bit more fluffy. They're a little bit more, I do miss the drama. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I thought I would, and when I get done with it and I take pictures, I'm gonna be obsessed with it, don't get me wrong. But like, man, it's like stressful. It is stressful. All right, let me pop on this luminous spray. I think I do it at this point just because it smells good, honestly. And then we are going to use Epic Mascara, Hey Judy, and we're gonna pop it on the lowers, and then we're gonna put false lashes on the uppers. I feel a hair. Okay. <gasps> Thanks, Taylor. All right, while those lashes set, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with these. These are my favorite false lashes, you guys. They are from Amazon. I don't know what brand they are. Couldn't tell you anything about them other than the fact I type in faux mink lashes and they pop up and they are $15 for five pairs and there's a bunch of different um, styles. And I like the more like extra. These are the ones I wear all the time. Y'all know the AO5s. Um, I'm gonna take the plastic off of them so you can actually see the lash. These are the ones that I used to wear all the time. These are gonna be a little bit more fluttery. Um, not as thick at the bottom, so I think it'll actually kinda resemble my lash extensions a little bit more than what I, um, thanks Jess, than what um, those would. So, let me grab some tweezers, some glue. Y'all, I feel like we are breaking out right now. We are breaking out. All right, um, we are going to grab these. These are not tapered, which is music to my ears. Um, tapered lashes, they're always a disaster for me, always. Um, you've always gotta trim from the outside in, don't ever trim from the inside out. And all this extra adhesive, that I will say this is one thing about this brand, is they are probably from China. Well, they probably have Corona on them, this is great. I've had them for a while though, so hopefully they don't. But anyways, um, they're a little messy when it comes to 
their um sorry I just got a text message <laughs> y'all I swear if y'all could let I just wish I could be friends in person with all of y'all because it would be so much fun Anyways, let's put on some lashes, shall we? So what I'm gonna do first is, I actually used to get requested to do this video all the time, um, solely on lashes. And then I get on here and I start doing a whole face and it's like an hour later and we're just now putting on lashes, but it's fine. So whatever lashes you have, um, you are going to, if, if you've got your package, you're gonna hold it in front of the mirror and then you're gonna look down and you're gonna say, okay, this goes on this eye, this one goes on this eye, okay? So, I'm gonna hold this lash up, this is gonna go on my right eye. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a pair of tweezers. Um, I recommend, just for safety purposes, the lash tweezers, um, they're rounded. If you poke yourself, it's still gonna hurt. It's just not gonna like kill you like these will. Um, but I'm gonna use the ones that are gonna kill you. So what I'm gonna do is set the, oh my God, these are beautiful. Okay, it's fine. It's been a hot minute since I wore false lashes, y'all. Um, you're gonna set this down and you're gonna put the inner corner where you want it. So I just line it up with where my natural lashes are. And then I kind of let the lash sit. And you're gonna see there's a lot of excess over here. That's what we're going to trim, okay? We're not gonna trim the inner corner. Get in the habit of trimming the outer corner. Because if you're gonna trim the inner corner of any false lash, if you have a tapered lash, for example, where are my bridal lashes? Here they are. These are what I use on like little little baby bridesmaids. Um, what's gonna happen is if you trim from the inside in, you now have a thick lash. And this is like a natural taper. You don't want that. So you always wanna make it a habit to trim from the outside in. So you're, you've always got a natural um, taper going on. So I'm gonna look and see how much I need to trim. And I'm like, okay, well, there's like, okay, I can do this right here. like. I'm gonna trim those two, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like one, two little pieces. We're gonna trim that. And um, we're gonna see, okay? I'm not flipping you off. That right there is now garbage, okay? Now, I'm gonna put it back up there. You can reuse these lashes a couple times. As long as you take care of them, you put them back in the package, don't let dust and crap get all over them. Um, you're you're gonna get a couple uses out of these suckers. So, you know, get your money's worth. I mean, they're 15 bucks, which is cheap as dirt, but, um, you know, if you can reuse them, especially during quarantine, people. Okay, so I think we're good here. So now what I'm gonna do is go with my safety tweezers and Hold them like this. This is my favorite glue. It comes in two kinds. It comes in a, this is disgusting. It comes in like a clear glue and a black glue. Um, if you're not a professional lash user, I would recommend the clear one because the black one, if you accidentally like miss your lash line and you put it up on your eyeshadow somewhere, it ain't gonna come off, okay? You can buff out the clear one without an issue. This one, you can't really. So just a word of the wise. So what I'm gonna do is take the little wand. That's another reason I recommend the ones with the wands. They have squeezy tubes. I ain't a fan of them. I use way too much glue every single time. This, you're literally just going to take the wand and the little brush, and you're going to brush the band. See where I'm putting it on? It kind of looks blue on camera. Actually, even in real life, it kind of looks blue. Um, and I'm just going to brush that lash band. You don't want it caked up. You just want a good coating of it. And then we are going to hang out and wait like 20 to 30 seconds. Duo, Amy. It is duo. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Target, Walmart, CVS. Um, it's my favorite lash glue. I've used it for years. Um, I've also got myself so tangled, but it's okay. I got myself real tangled. Boss and coin are over here like dirt road dancing. Um, Anyways, so um, it's, I've used the glue for years, you guys. It's, and it's something that I've got sensitive eyes and I don't have an issue um, with that. And I believe they actually do have a sensitive version, but I don't have to use the sensitive version. So we're gonna kind of air, air dry this. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold my mirror below. If you hold your mirror this way, it, you're not gonna be successful. Hold it below, okay? And. Okay, there's like a lash extension that's gonna cause me a lot of problems with this. I see it right now. All right, so I'm just gonna place it on there and then I'm gonna grab my regular tweezers and I'm going to pin 
my outer corner and I'm going to pin my inner corner. I actually need to take these to Lindsay tomorrow. Um, she's my lash girl, but when she can't get her lashes done, she needs falsies to wear too. And so, you know, we always try to find a good pair for people. All right, this lash extension, girl, get yourself together. All right, so these are actually incredibly similar to my actual lash extensions that I get. Um, I think my lash extensions are a little fuller than these, but how pretty are those? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Okay. Hey, Cindy, is the necklace from, it is, it is. I, um, I've been wanting a coin necklace and I'm so picky, y'all. I'm so picky when it comes to jewelry and stuff. And so I haven't gotten one yet. And so when this came in my FabFitFun, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. The only thing I wish is I wish the distance between this one and this one was slightly shorter, maybe just like that. Like that little tiny bit makes a difference to me. Um, I'm more chesty. And so things fall like this. <laughs> and I'm like, I just wish they wouldn't do that. Hey, Cindy, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we've got one lash on. Okay, I miss having a full set of lash extensions. That is for sure. That is for sure, but it's okay. Lindsay's gonna solve all my problems tomorrow at 10 a.m. We're gonna get a spray tan, we're gonna get lashes. Everything's gonna be right in the world. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I do miss my Palm Beach tan though, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something. I miss Palm Beach tan being open because it is right down the street from me. I go get my spray tans. I tan in the bed and I spray all on the same day and it is like the best thing ever. And right now I can't do that. Hey, Maddie. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, it's definitely like, I just wish it was up a little higher because I feel like if you're, if you don't have boobs, like I'm not trying to show my stuff to the world, but if you don't have boobs, you know, you're definitely more flat and it looks so pretty when it's longer like that. But when you're chesty and your boobs eat things, like, you know, it is what it is. All right. Ugh. All right. Oh my gosh. So what I'm doing now is I've got the other lash and there's a lot of adhesive from the packaging. I will say, like I told y'all this before, this is the one downfall about buying the lashes on Amazon. I love them dearly, but the adhesive, instead of sticking to the daggum packaging, it sticks to the lashes and it drives me nuts. And it's not the end of the world. Like if you put the glue on the adhesive, it's okay. It just, they get nasty easier and, you know. Okay. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to do the same thing. Thanks, Jen. Oh, oh my gosh. No, you don't. Let me tell you something. Having, I wanted boobs literally for the longest time. I didn't have them. I actually had a surgery scheduled to get, to get them. Um, and I ended up canceling it because I ended up gaining weight a couple years ago and they grew. And then you have to go buy all new clothes. And I have had to buy new bras almost every year for the past four years. Like, have to size up almost every year for the past four years. And that's expensive, y'all. Like, it's expensive to have to buy bras that often. Um, you know, and you usually stock up, so you have a bunch, right? Nope. Two years later, here we go. Round, round whatever of getting new bras. Um, how was the FabFitFun box? I've never, oh, I love FabFitFun. I love FabFitFun so much. Um, and what was my other favorite one? BoxyCharm. I was a big fan of BoxyCharm. I had both of those before I became single and have to pay all my bills by myself. Um, I had all of the boxes. They were great. But um, FabFitFun comes once every three months. So it comes four times a year. It's 50 bucks. And the value of it is like $300. So it's totally worth it. Some of my favorite blankets have come from FabFitFun. Some of my favorite robes have come from FabFitFun. Um... I'm a big, big advocate of FabFitFun. I wish I was cool enough to be a partner for FabFitFun, but I'm not. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day. All right, let's, right now it's only famous people, but it's fine, it's fine. All right, um, but yeah, BoxyCharm is another good one too. It's just makeup um, and skincare actually. They'll send you brushes though, which was my favorite part because I got some really good, um, brushes these from Alamar um I got some Luxie brushes in there um actually some Luxie brushes that I use the gold glitter ones these 
Um, I love those. Love them so much. There's another Alomar. It's a good fluffy blending brush. Um, I'm a big, big advocate of both of those. The, oh my God, the little like, I guess it's called like a house coat, you know, like a mama thing. Thanks, Maddie. And, but I've worn it like out in public. I threw it on, I went to a friend's house last week and I threw on like, sorry, I didn't know what she was wearing. Um, Spanx with a, like just a skinny strap tank top with that little thing over it. And I was so comfy. It was like the perfect little, just go hang out and Netflix with your friends kind of thing. Um, I loved it so much. All right, we're going to pop this lash on. So also I, you can wear falsies with your lash extensions. I don't like to. Um, because when they go to kind of redo your lash extensions and fill you in, um, they end up having to take a lot of them off because the glue, um, from the falsies gets on your extensions and it's just not, not super clean. So, um, I don't do this often. I think I've worn lash or I've worn false lashes once since I've had lash extensions. Um, and it was on our cruise. But I'm a fan of... I'm a fan of the A10s or A12s, whatever I got, A12s, A12s. I thought I ordered 10s too, but these, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Do it. I think I can send you a link, Lindsay. Um, I think I can. I'll have to look and see. All right. Let's see. Now we got to do a lip combo, y'all. I'm here, like... Y'all know I love me an all matte eyeshadow look. There is something so sexy and sultry about an all matte eyeshadow look. I love it so much. They're also so easy, y'all. If y'all are trying to like learn eyeshadow and you're afraid, excuse me, I'm messing something up, go all matte, okay? Go all matte. It's gonna be the easiest thing you've ever done. All right, let's put away the toolbox here. Look, I'm telling you, lashes everywhere. I don't miss having these all over my beauty room. I can guarantee you that. It, get out of hand very quickly. You'll find pieces of lashes everywhere. Everywhere. All right, let's do a lip. Um, I think I want to do, we did a peachy combo the other day and I really liked it. And I think that would kind of be, well, no, I don't know. I don't know. Um, hmm. <laughs> let's do, y'all, I love this primer. Have I told y'all that? I love it. Um, Let's do a liquid lip. All right, we're going to do Pouty and Sublime and Lunar, I think is what we're going to do. So, um, let's grab a mirror and a lip liner. And I totally have Carmex on. I was like, that is not right. I will say, I have a lot of stuff planned for after quarantine, and I'm going to video it all, and it's going to be the most entertaining thing you've ever seen in your life. I can guarantee it. And filled them in too. I get into this groove and then I start filling things in and bad things start happening. All right. I have a TikTok. Hey Maria. Hey Alexis. I do have a TikTok. The only thing I've uploaded is a makeup video because you know, I know how to do that. Um, I don't know how to TikTok you guys. I really don't understand it. And, um, but Michaela told me tonight we're TikToking. So there will be something uploaded to TikTok tonight. There might be 12 things uploaded to TikTok tonight. I don't know. Um, but There's that. 
Um, but yeah, so we're going to try to TikTok tonight. Um, we're probably going to be in pajamas. Um, because, you know, quarantine wardrobe is not cute. And, um, which is really sad because right before quarantine, I bought that, that square, no, that square of shoes. I bought both of those pairs. I've only worn them once. I wore the nude ones once and the leopard ones. Actually, I think I've worn the leopard ones twice. Um, but I'm like, I'd love to wear my, like my pretty shoes. I mean, I could wear them with pajamas to my friend's house because she wouldn't judge me. Lindsay, um, Sublime's a pretty good neutral of them all. Successful is the most natural on me. It matches my lip color perfectly, but my lips are a lot more red, kind of red brown. Um, Sublime is a, it's a great, great one that people grab. All right. We're going in. Lunar, holy crap, made this super pink. Lunar made that super pink. Kind of blend that. I wasn't expecting that <laughs> at all. Where is Lux? Actually, let me just start over. Hang on. Where is Sublime again? Is it? Yeah. Lunar made that like super pink for some reason. back in with Sublime. And if you grab pouty, Lindsay, everything will look good. I promise you that. I feel like you might have that though. Okay. Let's do that. My watch is like, Sydney, you got to stand up and be active. And I'm like, no, I'm in quarantine. Lux is going to be in my bedroom. But yeah, if you have pouty, you'll be fine with Sublime. You'll really like the way it looks. Let me go grab my pouty Lux. I am going to tell you what's about to be super funny tonight is when we try to make these TikToks. And y'all, I can't physically walk right now. I mean, I'm obviously walking, but like it hurts so bad because that beer workout I did the other day, which if you missed the beer workout, y'all, you need to, what is that? What, what is, oh, you need to follow me on Instagram because that's where I did the beer workout. All right, here we go. That kind of makes it look pink too. What the hell? I don't know that I... I'm feeling this y'all like I'm struggling with this situation um I know which one I want and it is right here I could leave it but it's like too peachy I'm not I'm not here for that I'm not here for it so We're going to do this one, and then we're going to be done because this one never fails me. Um, Loyal's the clear one. I don't. I don't. All right. There's Pouty. Now we're going to go in with Successful. Hottie, I have hottie, yeah. But I have not used hottie since my allergic reaction because I'm terrified. But yeah, I still eat cayenne pepper and lick my lips. So, you know, I'm not sure. This is successful. I'm 
here for this. And now we're gonna put um, this one, what is this called, Lunar. Y'all, I can't with this, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Kind of dark, kind of sultry, even for daytime. But you know what? We make our own rules, especially during quarantine. So I'm done. I'm hopping off of here. If you guys have any questions, please shoot me a message. Remember, if you order a kudos, we'll just make it this week. If you order a kudos this week, you're going to be entered into a giveaway to win something from me. Um, it'll be shipped directly to your house. You won't even have to worry about waiting on me to do anything. Um, other than that, I'm done. I'm hopping off. Um, I will upload everything. I will photograph everything. I've act actually have a lot I've got to upload and photograph and edit. And I have a lot that I've got to get done. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. If you need to be color matched, let me know. Other than that, I'm hopping off and I'll see you guys later. Bye, y'all.